हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज प्रभात शर्मा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन ओरिएंटल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी भोपाल सो टुडे माय लेक्चर टॉपिक इज प्री एम्फेसिस एंड डी एम्फेसिस सर्किट्स द टॉपिक कम्स अंडर द सब्जेक्ट एनालॉग कम्युनिकेशन फर्स्ट वी स्टार्ट विथ थ्रेश इफेक्ट द एफ डिटेक्टर एग्जिबिट्स अ प्रॉब्लम दैट इज थ्रेश इफेक्ट लाइक द एनिवल डिटेक्टर the threshold point occurs around when signal power is 10 times than the noise power a square by 2 and not bt is approximately equals to 10 where bandwidth equals to 2 omega beta plus 1 this bandwidth is given by the carson rule the psd power spectral density of noise at the detector output may be directly proportional to square of the frequency power spectral density of typical message typically roll of a uh, around 6 db per decade these are the power spectral density of snof and smf to increase the snr in the fm or you can say to reduce the threshold we can use first use a low pass filter to cut off high frequencies at the output this in this message is attenuated to but this method is not satisfactory uh, the, another method is to use pre emphasis and de emphasis circuit in this method message is unchanged whereas the high frequency components of the noise are suppressed use of pre emphasis and de emphasis circuit in an fm system in fm system we use a pre emphasis circuit before the fm transmission and use a de emphasis circuit after the fm reception first the message signal passes through pre emphasis circuit whose transfer function is hpef this signal goes to fm transmitter then in the system is mixes with the noise then this signal passes through fm receiver after the receiving original signal we again de emphasis de emphasize the signal whose transfer function is hdef HPEF is transfer function at the pre emphasis and HDEF is transfer function of de emphasis HPEF used to artificially emphasize the high frequency components of the message prior to modulation hence before noise is introduced then HDEF used to de emphasize the high frequency components at the receiver and restore the original power spectral density of the message signal in theoretically HPEF is directly proportional to F, whereas the HDEF is inversely proportional to F. Or you can say it directly proportional to one by F. This can improve the output of SNR by around thirteen dB. What is pre-emphasis? The pre-emphasis circuit. The noise has a effect on the higher modulating frequencies than on the lower ones. Thus. If the higher frequencies were artificially boosted at the transmitter and correspondingly cut at the receiver, an improvement in the noise immunity could be ex expected, thereby increasing the SNR ratio. This boosting of the higher modulating frequency at the transmitter is known as pre-emphasis, and the compensation at the receiver is called de-emphasis. In the pre-emphasis circuit, we increase the amplitude. by increasing the frequency this is pre emphasis circuit is pre emphasis circuit a simple rc circuit r1 and c is in parallel and again with r2 the pre emphasis circuit used before the frequency modulator this is pre emphasis circuit is using before the frequency modulator then we are getting pre emphasized fm output This is Bode plot of the pre-emphasis frequency response. In the Bode plot, uh, there are two cutoff frequency f1 and f2. Till zero to f1, the response is flattened, and f1 to f2 it is increasing, and again f2 the response is flattened. The transfer function HPEF equals to k one plus j f by f1 upon one plus j f by f2, where f1 and f2 are. F1 is 1 by 2 pi R1, or also equals to 1 by 2 pi R1 C, or F2 equals to 1 by 2 pi R2, which value is R1 plus R2 by 2 pi R1 R2 C. This is the Bode plot of the pre-emphasis circuit.
Now the de-emphasis. De-emphasis mean attenuating those frequency by the amount y which they are boosted. However, pre-emphasis is done at the transmitter and the de-emphasis is done at the receiver. By the de-emphasis circuit, we decrease the amplitude by increasing the frequency. At the pre-emphasis circuit, we have already artificially boosted the signal. So we have to reduce the amplitude by the de-emphasis circuit at the receiver end. This is a de-emphasis circuit. It is also a simply RC circuit. The de-emphasis circuit is nothing but a simple low pass filter, whereas the pre-emphasis circuit is simply a band pass filter. The de-emphasis circuit is used after the demodulation. Here the, we are getting FM signal input. This is FM demodulator. Then we are using a de-emphasis circuit after the FM demodulation. We use pre-emphasis circuit before the FM modulation and use de-emphasis circuit after the FM demodulation. This is Bode plot of de-emphasis frequency response. In the Bode plot of de-emphasis, you can see there are frequency F1. Till frequency F1, the response is flattened and after F1, the response is decreasing. So transfer function of HDF equals to 1 upon 1 plus J F by F1 where f1 is nothing but 1 by 2 pi small r1 which value is 1 by 2 pi r1 c. The conclusion is high frequency noise leads to frequency dist distortion that is threshold when its amplitude is higher than the component present in the modulating signal that is threshold effect. In order to overcome this, FM circuit use techniques like pre-emphasis at the transmitter and de-emphasis at the receiver. We use pre-emphasis and de-emphasis to reduce the threshold effect. Pre-emphasis circuits. Pre-emphasis circuit helps to amplify high frequency signal component so that they have a higher magnitude than the noise component. It improves the signal to noise ratio or you can say SNR. It has a upper cutoff frequency from where the signal enhancement is flattened. It is a simple high pass filter with amplification. De-emphasis circuit. De-emphasis circuit helps to bring the pre-amplified signal back to the normal amplitude level. It has a cutoff frequency of about 2, 1, 2, 3 hertz. It is a simple low pass filter with time constant of around 75 microsecond. So we have studied in this lecture about the pre-emphasis and de-emphasis circuits used for the threshold effect minimization. Thank you for watching this video. For further queries and doubt, you can contact me at 7415-762574. You can Mail also at prabhatsharma740 at the red gmail.com. Thank you.